We're kind of just dealing with the worst case scenario as far as like wind and weather. You've got multiple incidents. So we're spreading our fire resources very thin. And so in the past several decades, as agriculture kind of declined, this is across the state, these spaces fill in with tons, literally tons of fuel. Um, and these grassy fuels are highly sensitive to uh, quick, quick drying out and, and when the, you know, really easy to ignite hotter conditions, drier conditions, more variable rainfall, um, it's only going to exacerbate the problem. But <laughs> the good news in the sense of the fuel problem is that that's within our control, right? This is, these are, where there are actions that we can take that would reduce that vulnerability, that would make conditions safer. So you have dry vegetation that is, when there's a spark, it's easier for that vegetation to ignite and for the wildfire to spread. Um, climate change in many parts of the world is, increasing um, increasing vegetation dryness in, in, in large part because temperatures are hotter. In some cases, because precipitation patterns are changing. 